Alright everybody, welcome back to my animation tutorial. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, I don't remember which episode this is, might be 13, might not. But I'm going to show you guys how to do text real quick. I'm doing this kind of late at night. So yeah, I'm going to make this pretty quick. So, uh, if you don't, if you haven't watched any of my Amon videos, I have this uh, unique text, bo text box that I use. And it's kind of like a square. If you haven't seen it, I might edit in a picture of it. Uh, I don't think I will. I don't think I'll edit this very much. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a text box, basically. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here. This is actually the folder we use to put our characters in. So right above that folder, if you have one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to create a new layer, a new vector layer. And we are going to press Control G to turn on the grid. Control G. G for grid, if you can't understand. But yeah, create a new vector layer. We're going to name this, uh, we're going to name this text box. Text box. You can name it whatever you want. Come over here to create shape. Make sure it's on a square. And we are going to come right around here. If you can see right here in the middle, there's this red cross. That's basically letting you know that that's the middle of this entire scene. Or this, you know, this blue box that we have around our character. So basically, we're going to make sure we're still on that line vertically. And come like right around here at the bottom. Click right there in the middle. Uh, make sure it's in the middle here, of course. Or you can put it wherever you want, really. And just hold and drag, and... Which one is it? Yeah, if you hold Alt, Alt, while you're dragging, uh, it starts it from the middle point of where you clicked. So we're just going to hold Alt, drag in from that middle point, drag to the right, and you can make this as big as you want it. I think I want it to be... Kind of right here. So yeah, let go when you're finished. Uh, if this looks weird, remember, j just like we did last tutorial, uh, you can come over here, change the effects and stuff, and make sure it's all on plane. Yeah, make sure that's all on plane. Or if you want it to look different, make, make it however you want to look. You want it to look. So come over here, select shape, select that box we just created. I'm just going to do it how I did mine, so I have the fill color to be pure black, so left click on black, and the stroke was green, well it changed depending on who I had talking, but we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make it red, so right click on the red color to change the stroke to red, and we're going to increase that stroke, uh, let's do it right there to 10 you can put that however you want it so our text box looks like this and actually before we move on well we don't need the grid anymore so we can hit Control g and we can take that advanced off so we're gonna come over here i'm just gonna add in the background uh let's just just do this one and increase it just so it looks good make sure that background is all the way at the bottom too send this folder no it's not all right so we have our background and what we are going to do is come back over here to text box select that shape and you can you can change the opacity actually you don't have to select the shape just make sure you're on this text box layer come over here double click text box and you can change the opacity to however you want it. You know, scroll up, scroll down. Uh, we're going to make it like 50 and hit OK. And you can see it's a lot more transparent. Uh, you can make that any, any way you want. A any of this is up to you, all of this. Uh, do it however you want it to be done. But yeah, we have the text box. And we actually are going to put this in a folder. If you have folders. Group with selection. And we're just going to have that right there. Make sure it's on the bottom. Well, we're, we're going to add something else. 
So now make sure you have that selected. Come over here to the left side and you should see a T right here for insert text right under the layer. So hit that T and you should see some text pops up. <laughs> it says Fat Gerald for my last thumbnail that I made. Uh, we're just going to name this. Well, you, you can put in any text you want. So let's say, you know, text tutorial or text box tutorial. Box, text box tutorial. And if you can see, you can zoom out again here. You can move this around if you want it to as well. You can see right here on this right hand side, this is where you change the font of your text. So you can, you know, pick any font you want. Uh, I'm going to do, let's do this. Calibri bold, Calibri bold. Do that. Press OK. And you can change, actually, if you want to change the color of it, uh, make sure you have that text selected. Double click it again, you know. And if fill and stroke, you can change these right here. So I want the fill to be white. Let's say I want the stroke on. Make sure you check that. And I want the stroke. The stroke can be black. So that's fine. And you can increase the width and stuff. Let's do it like, let's do it seven. Press OK again. And actually, before we do anything else, we are going to put this inside of the text box. Then let me zoom in for a bit there. So yeah, come over here. Make sure you have this text selected. And we are going to make sure we have the transform layer tool selected. And we're just going to come over here, shrink this text. And holding shift, we're going to drag it all the way down into this text box. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Uh, let's make it, let's make it pretty big. If you have multiple lines, you would make this smaller. But yeah. So say if you want it a different text, you can duplicate this layer and hide, you know, hide that one. And let's say we want this to say, uh, high press ok and then you can just switch between these two to say hi or text box tutorial tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to make that a switch layer later but now we are gonna actually add a head to this text box kinda like I did in my Amon um, trailer video well it wasn't a trailer but yeah so come over here to your character that you have, or you can just uh, drag in a head, but I'm actually just going to duplicate it from this character. Come over here to front, uh, just select this head, make sure you have that layer selected, and come over here to duplicate layer. Just duplicate that, and I think I lost it. I'm going to hit undo. Yeah, there it is. So make sure you have that head layer selected, drag it all the way up here above the text box layer. And we can go ahead and minimize all this, close all those footers. Go back up here, make sure you have the head there. Or again, like I said, you could just drag it from a folder. So you could go to like wherever you have the head in, which is right here. And you can just drag that in if you wanted to. But we have this here. We're just going to make sure you have that head selected. And we're going to drag it all the way over here. You can make this bigger or smaller if you want. But I just want it right there. And actually, if you have folders, we're going to mask this head layer. Uh, if you don't have folders, you would just, you know, make it smaller. To make sure it fits inside of this box but we are going to make this around this size and we are going to mask this so actually we are going to hold we're going to create a new group group with selection when you have that head picture selected and we're going to drag this text box in there too so make sure the head uh, picture and the text box is inside of a group and make sure that that group is inside of this this um 
let's call this text. And we're actually going to name this folder. We're going to name this text box. Text box. So make sure this text box folder is inside of this text folder that we just made. Wait, is this inside? Oh, I changed the wrong name, actually. Uh, let's name this characters. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is all unedited. We're just going to name that care. Change this to text box. So make sure that the things that are inside of the text box folder are the head and the text box vector layer that we just made. And make sure that text box folder is inside of this text folder. And basically, we're going to come over here, double click on the text box folder that we made, masking, hide all. And you should see that the head is hidden within this box. And to actually make that better, click on that again, masking. We'll double click on the text box folder again, masking. And we are going to, actually, no, 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 no. Open that text box folder, come over here to the text box vector layer, double click on that, masking, and we're going to hit exclude strokes. So basically, that makes the strokes, so the red outline, go above that, uh, that head that we have in the folder. So if we hit apply, you should see the red outline go above his head. It's just like that. And if we render that, that's basically how it looks. And actually, our character is hidden. Let's put our character back. So let's run it that again. And that's basically how the text box looks. So now, I guess the last thing I have to show you guys is how to change the text that you want. Uh, I guess we can put this in another folder as well. So go over here to this text box, well, to the text layer that we have, group with selection to make sure that is inside of the group. And basically, we're just going to come over here, double, not, not double click on the folder, come over here to this folder. We're going to name this, should we name it text? It's kind of confusing. Uh, let's name it. Yeah, let's just name it text. You can name these whatever you want. Let's name it text dialogue. Text dial. I think I'm going to sick. So yeah, you have this text dia dialogue box. Come over here. Right click on it. Not left click. Right click on it. And convert that to, to a switch layer. And basically what you would do before you start animating and recording or rendering you would create how many text box how many text dialog uh, scenes you want so basically you would come over here to this text that we have duplicate it and type in one text uh, dialog that you want let's say hi duplicate it again how are you question mark Duplicate it again, and let's say, bye. Wait. Oh, actually, you can't do it from here. So you would do it in here. You would double click on that text layer that you duplicated. Let's actually do this over again. All right, so we have this initial text box tutorial one that we made. Come over here to the duplicate layer um, button. Duplicate that layer, double click on that duplicated layer, and type in your text here. So let's say hi, duplicate it again, double click. How are you? Okay. Duplicate it again, and bye. Enter. So yeah, we have hi, how are you, and bye. So basically, when you're animating, you would say, let's say on, uh, let's say on frame six, I want him to say hi. 
So you would come over here, right click on this text dial it folder, hi, come over here, let's say on one, we want him to say, how are you? How are you? Switch that to how are you? And on frame 48, which is second two, bye. So that's basically how we want it to go. So hi, how are you? Bye. It starts on bye. So like on frame zero, you can just change this to hi if you want it to or not. Actually, we'll just change it to the text box tutorial. So on six, it switches to hi. Uh, frame 24, it switches to how are you? Frame 48, it switches to bye. And another thing, well, we can hide that. We'll minimize that. Another thing we're going to do is make sure you have that text dial folder selected. And make sure you're on frame zero. We're going to create a new vector layer. We're actually going to have another folder too. So we're going to have a new vector layer. You can do this if you want, or you can find like another way to do this. But we're going to name this none. And above that, we're going to create a new group layer. And we're going to name this on, O-N. And basically, we're going to drag this text dial box and this text box inside of this on folder. So we have on and none inside of this text folder. To convert this text folder into a switch. Right click on text, convert to switch. And basically, now what you can do is on frame zero, make sure that's on. Or you can, well, on frame one, we're just going to turn it off. So put it on none. Or you can change that to off if you want, but I have it set to none. And on frame six, we're going to switch it on so the text box pops up. So from frame one to frame six is off. On frame 6 is uh, on. And let's say on frame 12, we want it to turn off again. And on frame 1 is when it switches back on. Switching on at frame 1. How are you? Let's see right here. We want it to turn off on frame 35. And back on frame 2, we want to turn it back on. So here is how it looks. We're going to play this. Hi, how are you? Bye. And that is, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is everything. So we're actually going to render this real quick. Where do we want to stop this? Let's stop it at frame 72. File, export animation, start frame 1 and frame 72. Hit OK. And this shouldn't be take long at all. All right, so now if we put this on repeat, uh, that's text box done. You can have that show um, a lot longer if you want. I know they're moving kind of fast. Uh, that would all depend on how you want it. But yeah, and I didn't really do this perfect. You could, you know, uh, decrease the stroke around the text box and I don't actually think the text is perfectly centered inside of it either so yeah I just wanted to do this really quick that's basically how I did my text box text boxes in the Amon videos and yeah hopefully you guys um hopefully you guys understood again it's late so my, my mind's kind of clouded but yeah hopefully you guys understood if you didn't uh, feel free to ask me questions in the comments. Uh, I am going to do the fight scene tutorial. Uh, I just got to find the time and, you know, the motivation to do it. Because it's going to be a, a long one. But, yeah. I just wanted to do this quick one because I did get a question. And also, you could decrease the opacity of that of the text to... So you see where it says, hi, how are you, bye? You can decrease that, but I don't think that that's smart. But 